Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about the Doppler effect. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you're standing on the sidewalk and a car drives by you with its horn blaring. As the car approaches you, the sound of the horn seems high-pitched and loud. But as the car passes and moves away, the sound becomes lower-pitched and quieter. This change in pitch and volume is what we call the Doppler effect. It happens because the car is moving and as it moves, it squeezes the sound waves in front of it and stretches them out behind it. The Doppler effect doesn't just happen with sound, it also happens with light and other types of waves. In fact, astronomers use the Doppler effect to learn about distant stars and galaxies. They can tell if an object in space is moving towards or away from Earth by looking at the change in the color of its light. Let's go further in depth about the Doppler effect. Sound If a sound source is moving towards you, the sound waves get compressed, leading to a higher frequency and a higher perceived pitch. This is called blue shift. If the sound source is moving away from you, the waves get stretched, resulting in a lower frequency and a lower perceived pitch. This is called red shift. For a great example, let's listen to astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson on this explanation on the Doppler effect. Well, let's, let's do it with a race car because I can make that sound better. The car goes, <laughs> right? Did I get it right? That's pretty good, right? right? Look, okay, I can do that better than a train. All right. So the car does not go, it doesn't do that, does it? No. It doesn't go, no, it doesn't do any of that. It goes, high pitch to low pitch. So the sound waves up front, every sound wave it makes, it now travels closer to that sound wave before it makes the next wave. So the pitch, so the wave length is shorter, the pitch is higher, okay? And when it recedes, the sound waves get stretched apart. You get a lower pitch. Light In the context of light, the Doppler effect is observed as a shift in the color of light. When an object is moving towards an observer, its light shifts towards the blue end of the spectrum. Conversely, when an object is moving away, the light shifts towards the red end of the spectrum. Astronomers use this effect to determine whether celestial objects, like stars or galaxies, are moving closer or farther away from Earth. The red shift or blue shift of their light helps scientists understand the motion and relative velocity of these objects. In summary, the Doppler effect is all about how waves appear different when the source of the waves or the observer is in motion. Whether it's changing the pitch of a siren or the shift in color of starlight, the Doppler effect provides valuable information about relative motion. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Doppler effect today. Take care now, bye bye! If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like, that will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!